Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jess and today we are going to be playing Wolf Quest. This right here in front of us is a beautiful wolf grey storm, never mind the fact that it's nice. You'll we'll be able to see her better in a minute when we get into game. So this is episode 2 of Grey Storm's Generation, which is the first generation we are playing on this channel. Last episode we managed to complete two quests. The first was we had to make sure that we were decent hunters, so we hunted down two elk successfully. Did get kicked in the head quite a lot, but we're fine. Everything's fine. Had a good nap and we woke up right as rain. And the second quest was to find a potential mate. Now in the last episode we did find a male wolf who was very interested in us. So the purpose of Today's episode is basically we're going to spend some time with this wolf, we're going to go hunting together, we're going to see what their skills are, what their personality is like, and then decide whether or not to accept them as a mate, or we're going to growl them off and look for somebody else to start a family with. So without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, I did turn game sounds down, so hopefully they won't be too loud this time. Hello. Let's. Um, let's do airplane ears. Let's see what he thinks of that. You're gonna go lie down. Okay, we didn't think much of that. Wow, we are tired. You know what? You know what? We need to sleep as well. We don't have a, a rock. We don't have a nap rock. Okay. Ah, oh, that is the wrong button. Right. Let's just head over here and rest. And hopefully... Our new buddy should come and sleep relatively close to us, so we don't have to worry too much about where we are. Let's go to sleep. Where's he going? Okay, he's lying over there. That's, that's alright. Okay, we are awake. The little purple bar at the bottom is only halfway full, so we are still kind of tired. Um, pack Affinity, the little blue bar on the left, is going up. Oh, there's a rock. So we want to interact with our new found buddy. <clears throat> How do you react to a play bell, huh? Hmm? Hello? Are you ignoring us? Hello? You don't like being ignored. Are you going to hell back? Okay, well, that's something. Okay, he likes the hell. Where are you going? He could be hungry. He could be wanting to... Ooh. You see that little red icon? And the purple ones. I feel like the red icon is this guy right here. But the purple one is a nearby pack. Oh, I never noticed we have a little white belly. What did you think of the rollover? Okay, right, I think he's hungry because he is not settling down, so let's get to sniffing. Um, you know what, there's... What's that smell? Yes, buddy, I need you to move. Oh, that's dispersal wolves. Okay, we should probably... Where are we on the map? We are heading right towards somebody's territory, so let's go this way. Mm. There we go. Let's head directly away. Oh, there's... See these little purple icons? That's a scent marker. Oh, I smell elk. Let's go see if we can find some elk. We are quite tired, I'll be honest. I don't know where the elk smells went. I don't want to go that way. Is there a scent post that way? There shouldn't be. I'm going to try and get closer. Territory scent post, Lamar Canyon. Oh, uh, purple. Mm, okay. Okay, I feel like you're hungry, bud, but we're really tired. I want to move away from these other wolves, though, and maybe get to napping. So if we take a sprint... My buddy should be running with us. Yeah, look at him! He's 
Brent, buddy, why is your tail between your legs? Was that just a glitch? I hope your tail wasn't between your legs. We want a confident king to father our pups, thank you very much. Okay, I feel like we're away from a bunch of smells, so... Um... We're gonna slow it down. We really need to sleep, bud. I'm sorry. If you need to go hunting, go hunting. But, uh, we need to sleep, like, right now. Oh, he came over. Like, what are you doing? Oh, oh he's sleeping so close to us. That's so sweet. Yay, we're awake. Oh, he's playing. Uh, play ball. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Oh, he likes it. Right, okay. Now we have some energy. We can go hunting. And I smell elk this way. Let's go, buddy. I had a comment on the last video suggesting that we name our partner Thunder. Greystorm and Thunder. I think that's pretty cool. So I feel like that's what uh, we're going to go with. Ooh. I don't see anything over there. That's a bit far away, though, to be fair, so. Let's keep stalking the wheatgrass herd of elk, and... Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> We're fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. Um, but yeah, let's stalk this herd and see if we can find some tracks. We're not super hungry. We could eat. By the time that we've hunted, we'll probably be a bit more hungry. Um, but I feel like our buddy, Thunder, he wasn't really responding to us, and I feel like it's because he's hungry. Whoop. That's a long way down. Ah, uh, but the elk is that way, so we go this way! Oh, not sliding, that's okay. Oh, look at our buddy, he's right here with us. Why don't we... Uh, where's the confident tail wag? Tail. Confident tail wag, there we go. <laughs> oh, his tail's up, he likes that. Yay. Oh, I can hear elk. And we are approaching from downwind as well, which is very good. There's other wolves down here. Female dispersal wolves. They might try and steal thunder away from us. Oh, the tail up means very confident. Okay. I see you, Thunder. I see you, Thunder. Shaking that tail. Shaking that tail. I'm hearing noises. I feel like I turned the game volume down a little bit too low. Hold on. I'm going to just turn it up a little bit. Oh, he ran off. Don't know where you're going, buddy. We're going this way. The elk is this way. We're still not fine. Oh! Tails up. Boom. Oh, look at him watching us. Look at him watching us. That's really cute. These wolves, I swear, these female dispersal wolves are hunting the same pack. Um, not pack. The same herd that we are. What is this? Oh, that's a snowshoe hare. Okay. Again, I'm hoping that the game sounds are not too loud and that you can hear me speaking. If they are too loud, please let me know and I will adjust it for the next video. Because it's really hard for me to tell while I'm filming. Um, it's one of those things I don't really notice until I'm editing the video. But let me know. I hear howling. Those are wolves. Male dispersal wolves. Oh buddy, there's other males around here. We might have some competition for our affection. Oh, the elk is still this way. I don't like how close they sound. They shouldn't attack us. We're not in anybody's ter- Ooh. Tracks. They shouldn't attack us because we're not in anybody's territory. And they are dispersal wolves just like us. They're just looking for a mate. Right now we're getting some... Oh, look, look at the paw prints. Look at the paw prints. 
female dispersal wolf. Now that's Cinnabar. Cinnabar is orange. <gasps> There's so many prints around here. Cinnabar. Hayden. Is Hayden? Okay, Hayden. Right, we're getting close to the elk. There's also so many wolf prints. We might... <gasps> Look, it's so beautiful. Look at all those pink hoof prints. Right. We might... have to fight to defend our kill with so many wolves around. Alright, back on the trail of the wheat grass herd. Are they wolves or are they elk? That's a moose. Oh, don't. Who's growling? I can't tell if that was thunder or if that was the other wolves. We can hell back. Who are you, buddy? Oh, you're playing. We can... favorites. Play a bell. It's not telling us anything about him though. I don't know where Thunder's gone. Maybe he saw us flirting with another male. But it means he won't attack us! Also, I've completely lost the tracks. Right, here we go. Right, tracks are going this way. Cinnabar's still here. He's right there behind us. That's Cinnabar. Um, Thunder. I keep saying Cinnabar. That's the pack he came from. They're all howling. I wonder, I want to know who that growl was. Was that Thunder? Was that the other wolves growling at Thunder? Because they're males. You're a stag. We want you. Hey, he's hunting with us. Hey, that was a really quick kill. Is he going to chunk? Is he gonna? Yeah, he's chunking. Well done. This wolf is impressed with your strength and hunting skills and is willing to be your mate. Do you want to be their mate? Oh, I thought we'd hmm, extend trial. Nah, go on. We like this guy. Yay, now we get to name him. Thunder. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Thunder. All right, buddy. You still... You found a mate. You started a new pack with your mate. Now you are ready to establish a territory and start a family of your own. You and your mate are forming a new family. A family snapshot has been saved. So in the future, you can go to Slough Creek anytime with this mate when creating a new game. Cool. Journey to Slough Creek. Slough Creek is the next map. I love Slough Creek. It's absolutely gorgeous. There isn't enough unclaimed space here in the Lamar Valley for you and your mate to carve out a territory. Travel northwest to find unoccupied turf. Head for the gold star on the map and the compass. Uh, yeah, it's the same thing again. Right, well, first of all, we're going to eat. Thank you very much. Could also do with going to sleep. I think we're pretty full. Chunk as well. Did we chunk? We chunked. Chunking, by the way, is when you grab a chunk of meat from the carcass um, and bring it with you. Oh, he's play bowing. Hey, buddy. Play bow. Oh, can we not do that when we're chunking? Okay. All right, well, which direction do we head in? That way. You see the little star on the compass? Also, if we go to the map, that's the star right up there. So we do have to go into the Lamar Canyon Pax territory 
but they've never really given me too much trouble. We do need to find somewhere to sleep though, so pick a direction and run! Ah, tree! I think we are going to rest. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna roll over. Hey, boyfriend! And he's not paying attention to us. He looks like he's keeping watch though, which is pretty cool. Right, let's go to sleep. And then we can wake up, hopefully fully rested, and we can make our way towards Slough Creek. I think we'll probably need to sleep one more time before we actually get there, because it is, from what I remember, quite a journey. But that's okay. It's more time for us to build up a relationship with Thunder. So if you guys can see, on the top left corner next to Greystorm's picture, we have this little love heart, which means we have a mate, and then that blue bar, which is almost full to the top, that blue bar is our pack affinity. Uh, I think I called it pack loyalty in the last episode, but it's pack affinity. And basically, it means um, how... well, it, it's the same loyalty, basically. It's how strong your relationship is in your pack. Yeah, buddy. When we get to Slough Creek, the... Um, oh, we fell in love. When we get to Slough Creek, the howling is going to have a lot more importance because it's one of the ways that you establish and carve out a territory and defend that territory is you mark, um, you mark it by howling and also peeing. So we're going to be peeing together, buddy. Just relationship goals. Look at all these colours. Look at the colours changing. So it's meant to be like autumn now, which is why you're getting a lot of these autumn colours. And we need to establish a territory um, during winter. So we need to get to Slough Creek because this is our migration over the autumn. And then when we get to Slough Creek, it should be winter. And that's when we need to carve out a territory, make a den, basically build a nice home for us, ready to have pups in the spring. It's been so long since I've played this game. I cannot wait to have puppies again. They're so cute. Oh, we cl we're closer than I thought to that. To the river, I mean. We're a lot closer than I thought. How's our stamina doing right? Why don't we put our tail right in the air and run? <laughs> looks so funny. He's running with us. Yes, Thunder. Woo, 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 woo. Now I'm howling. Oh, look at him looking at us. Oh, that's so cute. He's faster than us. <gasps> He's fast. This is really good for hunting. He's not that much faster, but we only went down one point in speed. So I reckon he's about the normal. Oh, wait, 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 is it tab? Alright, if I go into tab, Graystorm, can I see Thunder stats? Thunder. Why are you not letting me click on Thunder? Is it not giving me Thunder stats? Or maybe we have to get to the, um, to, to Slough Creek first. Oh, he's panting! What can we smell? What is this? Mule deer. Hey, Thunder. There's not really much out here. He's looking at us. Confident tail wag. Okay, that's really that's just getting my heart. Like the way that he keeps looking over to us. Like he's definitely faster than us. Seems pretty strong as well, how quickly we took down that um elk. I think I would have liked to have hunted one more elk before confirming I want the rabbit! Yeah. He. I caught a bunny. Bunny! Oh, he likes it. Play bell. Hey, honey, do you want a bunny? You can have it if you want it. Yeah, he's going to have it. That's okay, I said he could. He's going to chunk and go eat over there. A lot of them do that though. They 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 bite a chunk and then they'll take it and eat it privately. 
Um, funnily enough, one of our family dogs actually does that as well from a food bowl, but we don't call it chunking because obviously it's not a chunk of meat. It's like biscuits and stuff. Um, we call it pelican. <laughs> She'll fill up her mouth with food and then bring it into where, wherever you're sitting or wherever the people are and um, she'll eat it next to you. We call it pelican. So, even domesticated dogs chunk, or pelican. So he wasn't even facing us, but he knew a play bell was happening. Are you tired, buddy? He's resting, I think he might be tired. We're so close to that though. Yeah, there's not really anyone around. I think we should get to the river or at least to these trees, and then we can take a nap there. So you look at all these voice commands. These you genuinely use for um, communicating with your... Sorry, I just heard noises and I stopped talking. Um, these are basically how you communicate with your mate and your pup. Let's go pick a spot by these trees. This looks quite chill. Pack affinity is almost up. Yeah, come back, buddy. Come back. Let's do... Shall we sniff noses? Shall we see if he'll let us sniff noses? <gasps> oh, that's so cute! Oh, he liked it! Hi, sweetie. Now kiss. Kiss, kiss. Come back and kiss me! <laughs> All right, I actually like this spot, so we are going to lay down and take a nap right by this tree. You're going to come sit down close to us? Yeah, we're going to go to sleep. I feel like he's quite tired as well. Oh, he sleeps so close. Oh, I remember why I love this game so much. It's so cute. Oh, wow. Look at the colors. Look at those trees and that sky. Absolutely gorgeous, right? He should be pretty full because we gave him a hair. Tony Ballon. And Slough Creek pretty much is on the other side of the river. Oh, they added beavers to the game. I want to see if we can catch a beaver. I forget how we do it though. We have to like lie in wait. There's another rabbit. Ah. Grr. Like, is that rabbit for me? No, honey, not every rabbit is for you. Oh, he, he, he moved away, though. You only get, like, one bite. See how they just sink into the ground? You only get one bite out of, um, a bunny. You know how with us? He should howl. Oh, he's playing! Play well, come back! You're gonna kiss me today. Can we kiss? Kiss, kiss. Give me a kiss. <gasps> oh, so cute. He <laughs> did he run away? <laughs> he, okay. He doesn't mind sniffing noses. He's not a big fan of kisses. All right. That's fine. Good to know. <laughs> oh, he's wagging his tail, though. He's all like, oh, that was a bit soggy. Bit of a soggy kisser. We a sloppy kisser. So breath smell like rabbit. Do you want a rabbit? I'll catch you a rabbit. There you go, sweetie. All yours. Yay, he liked the rabbit. Down by the river though, there should be beavers. I've never been able to catch a beaver. Okay, now we're in the Lamar Canyon Pax territory, but we don't have far to go. If you see, like, we're, the star's literally right there, so. Oh, wait, wait, beaver! Are they beaver tracks? No. I just caught beaver on the breeze. What colour is beaver? <gasps> Beavers are red! <gasps> That's a scent post right there. What is this? Collectible object. Ooh, scavenger hunt! That's new! Ooh, 
We found an umbrella! Ah! Oh. Here's mine. Here's my umbrella. Can't smell the beavers anymore. Oh, it's not. It was a question mark. Honey, we're not hunting you right now. No. Thunder might. Oh, you want to hunt? Oh, he was like, what, what are you doing? We're not hunting? Yeah, they, they run into water and it's pretty hard to get them. Because you move so slow in water. He wanted to hunt though. We're not really hungry. I've made, been making sure I feed you. I want to explore a little bit more. Because I don't think we get to come back to this river. There's a wolf howling back and it's not thunder. You really want this deer, honey, don't you? <laughs> He's like, I want the deer. I want to bite it. You see, like, do you see how much that that deer is drifting in the current there? This is why I wanted to... <laughs> He's swimming up. Sweetie. You know what? If you want the deer that bad, we will go and get the deer. We will try and go get the deer. Very difficult to do in water, though. This thing's going to get away. I'm looking for a beaver dam. See, that thing's just going to keep going in the water. Thunder, honey. There should be a beaver dam. Oh, at the border, you've reached the edge of the map. Oh, have we? Oh, wow, we have. Okay. Maybe the beaver dam was this way. <laughs> you saw the deer again. Honey. Beaver! Beaver, beaver, beaver! Oh my god! Get it! Oh, did it bite us back? Did we get it? Oh my god, we caught a beaver! Oh, this is just... I am so happy. Let's eat this fat little dumpling. This is this is amazing. Right, I'm going to back away. So that thunder will come eat. There you go. Yeah, let's, unless it's a rabbit, which is like one bite. He seems to let us eat first, which is very sweet. Oh, he's playing. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Uh, buddy. Play bell. I'd like it if there was a button for play bell. Oh, he's like, I heard a play bell. He knows which direction to go. Come on then, buddy. Let's go swimming. Let's go swimming. See, look, it looks like we're using our tail as a paddle. Oh, never mind. I remember in the first game, in the original game, there was a part where you had to move pups to a safer location because, for, I forget the reason why, but for some reason you couldn't stay in the den anymore. And in the original game, part of that um, journey involved carrying your pups across a river and they could actually drown. Because you can keep your head above water, but carrying a pup, it's a lot. And your stamina goes down so much when you're carrying pups as well. Where's the star? Where's the star? Here we go. Head in this way now. I can't believe we caught a beaver. I'm so happy. <laughs> we are literally following the star on the compass. Head into Slough Creek, our home for the winter and the spring. And the summer, maybe? I hope they updated it to go full circle now. Because before you could only get your pups to a certain... Oi! Bitch! Yeah! It's like, don't stamp on my girlfriend's head! Ah, ah you suck. Yeah. I'll teach you to stamp on my head. Hey, to Slow Creek! The meadows of Slow Creek lie just beyond Bison Peak. There you can establish a territory and begin your family pack. It's time to make our own home. We actually get to choose where we want to build our territory. Um, we get to choose what dens we want to raise our pups in. Oh, I'm so excited. I feel like this video is going to be long already, so this might be a long one. But I'm enjoying it, I'm having a good time, and I hope you are as well. Survival of the pack. A wolf's life is about one thing.
passing on its genes to the next generation. All else, from hunting elk to defending a territory, drives towards this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond and survive the winter. Now you can try and realise that goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called the alphas, of your pack. Their survival, and the survival of your genetic code, will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you have faced to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. Establish your territory! You and your... Aww! You and your mate are expecting pups! We're pregnant! Yay! You must now carve out your own territory here in the hills and meadows of Slough Creek. Later, just before the pups are born in two months, you must find a good den within your territory. Other packs are also expecting puppies, so they are establishing and expanding their territories too. You need to make sure you claim enough space to create a safe buffer to protect your vulnerable pups from them. Explore, uh, explore the region and decide where to establish your territory. You might find potential den sites first. Yeah, I, I kind of like looking for dens and then building a territory around a den that I like, so I feel like we're going to do that. To complete this quest, your territory must have at least 15 hexes, as shown on the world map, east, each at at least 50% strength. The bigger your territory, the safer your pups will be from rival pack danger, but a bigger territory also takes more time to maintain and defend. Right, we are kind of hungry. So let's head on down without dying. I do have it set on mate permadeath, so <laughs> um, we can respawn if we die, but our mate cannot. So let's try and find... That was a good start. I was going to say, let's try and find a safe way down. First things first, we are hungry, so I feel like we should go hunting. Let's have a look at the map. So basically this whole empty section here, we can claim. We can also take the edge ones from other packs but you see these ones that have the little circles on those are fixed points we cannot claim those um just because the game needs somewhere to generate the other wolves oh he's doing the confident tail wag too oh he's happy at this point i kind of just want to explore but we you know what we do need to find food Ooh, there's another mystery over here fishing pole so that should be by the water, right? There's food over there. Hang on, I'm looking for a fishing pole. Oh, I thought maybe this stick was a fishing pole. Where are you going, buddy? Right, we need some food. Let's go with you. No, don't go into the water. We are going to want to cut you off from the water. Deer are fast, man. <gasps> what are you? They look like bison. Do you think we could take on a bison? Do we dare? Taking on a bison is no mean feat. They will attack and do damage. They're watching us. Ouch! Ouch! Ah! Run, run, run! Not into the other one. Ah! Let's go. Oh shit! We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Run. Run away. Run away. Bad idea. Bad idea. Bison was a bad idea. Oh my god, our health is so low. Okay, dear. You're back on the menu. See, I like when we hone in on a target and mate seems to pick up on which one we're chasing and follow suit. Oof. He's faster than us, but I don't think he has... Oh, he might have as much stamina. Oh my god, don't go back to the water, I swear. Okay. Another option. Look at them standing there just taunting us. We are hurt, man. We need to rest. Well, that was a great start, wasn't it? Getting too full of ourselves. <laughs> if you go to sleep, then other packs are going to claim territory. Buddy, you know what? We are really hurt. We need to stop and take a nap. We got headbutt pretty bad. We're not feeling too well. 
Oh, our pack affinity is only halfway up. We should work on that. Play bell. Yay! Play bell. We really need to sleep. We are not doing very well. That was a big bison size mistake. Oh my god, our health didn't even go up that much. Right. Aww. Let's roll over too. That's very cute. They are very cute. Alright, we need to find something to eat. We are really hungry. Right, there's a cougar rabbit. We can't eat predators. Fun fact, wolves actually don't eat other predators. Nope, we're not hunting bison. These are bunny tracks. <gasps> I see the bunny. You see, look, look, the rabbits have gone white now. We need to eat this. Well, that did almost nothing. Pretty sure the orange bar is at hunger and that bunny did not touch it. Um, I think I want to be in the woods. So I think there's two types of dens that you can get in this game. One is sort of out in the open, which means things can't sneak up on you through the trees and stuff, but you are open to aerial attacks from giant vicious birds that will carry off your pups. If you're in the trees, you don't have to worry about an aerial attack because the birds can't get down there, but you do have to worry about other wolves, cougars, coyotes, foxes, all of those irritating creatures. So, honestly, I feel like, especially for our first litter, this is probably a better idea to look for somewhere on the hills. All right, let's get a sprint on. Are we in someone else's territory? Yeah, we're in someone else's territory already. That was fast. Fine. Ugh. Right, I'm going to start looking for dens, so I'm probably going to speed this footage up and play some cool music, so let's go. really close to a den right here but I don't see it oh that was not a good idea there should be a den like right here where are you where is it there! This is a den! Yay! Oh, it's in the rocks! That's so cute! You found a potential den! Yay! Right, where are we in this hexagon? Right. No. Right. Um, which direction are we facing? Right. I want to go up so that we can set a territory marker <laughs> quite close by oh gosh all right let's set a set marker here Okay, so we are at 84% here, and those two are a lot lower, so let's go this way, 
basically I want to go out in sort of an arc around here and see if we can find any more potential den sites. Right, we want to get into the middle of this one and then set a territory scent marker. Oh, his name shows up, that's cool. There's a den nearby. Right, we're gonna pee here. Sent post. Okay, I feel like I want to find this den. Yeah, the boy. Right, I feel like I want to find wherever this den is. Ugh! Howl back at the noisy neighbors. Right. We want to find this den, and then I think we're gonna end the episode pretty soon because I feel like I've been filming for I didn't mean to press that button I feel like I've been filming for quite a while Found a den? I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm just standing too close, maybe. This whole rock? I don't know. Is it above the rock? I don't know where this den is. But we are going to perch on top of it and not that close and go to sleep because we really need to sleep. Oh my gosh, we are so hurt. We had a couple of unsuccessful hunts. We're on den number two. I think we need to find a minimum of three dens. We barely scratched the surface on establishing our territory. Oh my gosh, we've got a lot of work to do. Okay, guys, I am going to call it here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave some name suggestions in the comments on what you think we should call our pups. I'm I'm really liking the whole stormy weather theme. So we have grey storm, we have thunder. I'm thinking some more names like along those lines for the puppies when we eventually have them. Until then, stay safe and I will see you in the next video where we will find at least one, maybe two more dens and we will carve out our territory. Hopefully without having to fight any other wolves, but if they've got territory we want, I mean, that's the way it goes. <laughs> Stay safe, guys, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!